The Malmara Serengeti Sustainable Water Initiative, popularly known as MAMASE, is a four-year program aimed at improving water safety and security in Kenya's Mara River Basin. The objective of the project is to have a proper maintenance of the water linked to an econ economic development, economic and social development. And everything, of course, has to be in a sustainable way. The project is putting a lot of emphasis on the public-private partnership, which means that the small pa uh, farmers, big farmers, the private sector is a very important uh, actor and beneficiary, of course, of this project. The initiative is funded by the Netherlands Embassy in Nairobi and is a four-year public-private partnership carried out by a consortium of governmental, civil society, private sector and knowledge institutions from Kenya, the Netherlands and Germany. The Mara is a modest-sized river shared by Kenya and Tanzania. The headwater forests in the river basin have historically recycled water enhanced rainwater infiltration and stabilized erodible soils. The population within the forest is very high. So most of the activities like the firewood, like grazing, like poaching, they are doing the forest. So one of the challenges that we have is that there is a pressure. Reduced forest cover has resulted in more erratic rains and increasing occurrence of drought leading to low and unreliable small farmer incomes. Within the Mara Basin, the major challenges in terms of water is the water quality, which is basically due to pollution, due to poor farming practices and things like that, and also the water quantity, whereby we have this seasonal fluctuation of the river, whereby during the dry spells it is just too low, and during the rainy season it is just too high. Downstream, users experience dwindling rivers in dry seasons, more extreme floods in wet seasons, death of cattle and sickness among people. Most of the year there's enough at the moment, but obviously this is a, a concern for not only us, but for everybody who lives on the river, is that uh, it's, the river is going to be, have too big a population on it to be able to sustain everybody with water and it needs to be properly managed and, and everybody to understand what are, their require, what are their parameters that they can work within. Overgrazing and inappropriate agriculture in the rangelands has also led to increased runoff of valuable rainwater, degrading water quality and diminishing incomes. The region's extraordinary biodiversity is suffering as well. Animals are increasingly cut off from the green pastures and cannot access the water they need due to fencing and unsustainable encroachment of agriculture into migration pathways. In the Mamase program, the people and institutions in the basin will be supported in a process of structural change focused on creating effective water management, promoting economic activity and protecting the key forest and savanna ecosystems. In particular, the Mamase Consortium is supporting water authorities to develop adaptive management plans and to collect and communicate critical data about water resources. Farmers in the headwaters of the basin are being supported to produce water-wise and profitable products, while the pastoral communities in the middle basin are being facilitated to develop tourism-generating wildlife conservancies. Innovative finance mechanisms are being developed to ensure that improved practices go beyond the life of this programme. The lessons learned and new decision support tools developed by Mamase are being adapted for wider use in Kenya. The Mara is one of the world's most treasured rivers and through this Mamase initiative we're striving to make it a model of sustainable development for Kenya and the world. If I look ahead four years from now, I can see a big change because uh, the project is trying to tackle conservation challenges with very uh, unique uh, sort of strategies. Here we are balancing, doing a balancing act between uh, making sure that the natural environment continues to thrive 
and the threats facing it uh, decrease. And at the same time, we are ensuring that social development is also thriving. So if you get your, the, if you really strike that balance, whereby you ensure that conservation, uh, you're succeeding on conservation and at the same time succeeding in providing livelihood opportunities and also social development, economic opportunities for private sector. I think you've got the uh, equation correct. I think each stakeholder is coming in with something. And we are putting almost everything uh, into one basket and we are working on it. On it and I, I do believe that all this will change the lives of the people within the basin.